<laughs> hey everybody, how are you? I'm Michelle Ray Smith and welcome back to my channel. We are garage sailing today because I just have to take advantage of this weather and the way we start garage sailing at my house is we stop at Dunkin' Donuts and we get some coffee and a, muff a muffin and of course it's pumpkin everything today including my orange Halloween festive sweater. So I can't wait to get started. It's cloudy. Let's see what we can find and dang, I really need some coffee. Velcro because moms love Velcro and so do kids because they never have to learn how to tie their shoes. <laughs> All right, I just need the matches for this <gasps> for my niece. Oh my gosh, what size are these? Please say they're an 11 because I have a little niece that I buy stuff for. I don't know what size it is. Let's see. It's okay. I don't even know, but I'm taking it. $2. Sometimes you just end up with stuff you don't expect you're gonna find at a garage yeah. sale. Look at yeah. this, yay. So I walked around the corner and I saw this guy. And for those of you who are around my age, you understand that this was a huge toy for us. Um, gosh, garage selling is so fun because it can be so nostalgic, you know? I love that. to the attic. Hi guys, I am Michelle Ray Smith and I am a full-time mom, a part-time thrifter, I am a breast cancer survivor, and I currently host a show on Only Good TV called Press Pause. It's an animal rescue show. And besides that, if you don't know anything about me, I guess uh, I was on Guiding Light for three years and I played a character called Ava Peralta. So that's a little bit about me if you're joining my channel for the first time. So welcome, here is my attic. And I wanted to join you guys today specifically to tell you about my garage selling experience. So I took a bunch of footage of going around today and checking out some garage sales and I really hit the jackpot and I felt like I needed to show you everything right now while it was fresh in my mind because the thing that I love about garage selling is that you never know what you're gonna find. I mean, you go to a Goodwill, you go to a Salvation Army and you're thrifting, you kind of know what you, you want. You have the dress, the dress section <laughs> and then you have like this coat section. But with garage selling, it is a complete surprise. And I cannot wait to show you what I found today because it's actually, new for my closet. And again, if you're just joining me, I have a Poshmark closet, actually two, a denim closet called Urban Revival. And I have my um, Attic Attics, which is my casual wear, which was obviously inspired by my attic. But 
before I go on and on and on, let me show you what I got today. So I got up early and I was so, so tired. And my boyfriend and I decided to go and check out what was going on in an area that I used to live in. Beautiful homes, great schools, just a fabulous, gorgeous neighborhood. Always the most exciting places to go garage sailing. So I looked up garagesale.com and I found that information this morning on where we were going. Okay, so I got some incredible things. And I will start with a beautiful pair of boots. Um, I love selling shoes. I love selling boots. I love buying three months out. So three months ago, I already started uh, shopping for boots for my store. So always keep that in mind. When I was modeling, uh, we would always shoot like Christmas in July, right? That kind of a thing. So I like to set up my store three months out. So I'm already thinking about holiday stuff, you know, Christmas parties, holiday parties, New Year's Eve, sparkly dresses. That's gonna be one of my next ones. Anyways, I got these beautiful pair of Cole Haan boots today. They're so, so pretty. I'm so excited to clean these up, polish them. They're in beautiful condition. I got these for $5. <laughs> so these are my, my black boots. I'm going to get through the women's stuff real quick because I ended up having this incredible day with kids' shoes. So um, these other ones I'm very proud of today, too. These are Michael Kors. They're beautiful. If you can see, gorgeous pointed toes. I love these. I love the little heel. Uh, it's not too tall. It's just perfect. And again, I love to wear these types of shoes with trousers because it elongates your leg. Black trousers, black pointed shoe. All right, so... Let's get to the cute stuff. It's so cute, I can't wait. Okay. I might not know too much about skiing, but I definitely know a lot about cute. And this is definitely cute. Look at this little tiny snow boom ski shoe. I was like, I didn't even know they made them this small. So this is so, so, such a fun find for me today. These are Nordica little uh, ski boots. They look like, I would imagine, boy or girl, it's kind of hard to tell. But I was so excited because I walked in and I saw two pairs of these and I just thought, man, the season's coming. And uh, they wanted $15 for these. Now, I actually bought two pair because they're two, they must have a set of twins. So I talked them down to $10 a piece. And they normally go for about $180, and that's, uh, yeah, on the Nordica website, $180. And yeah, I got these for $10. So I'm really super excited to see. Again, I'm planning for the next couple of months, snow stuff, snow boots, ski stuff, outdoor apparel, all that. All that's high on my priority list when it comes to uh sourcing right now. Okay, so that's number cute number one. Wait till you see these. Oh my gosh, I, my heart almost stopped. Check out these cutie patootie vans. Can you see these little vans? Let me zip them up in the back because they're so, so cute. Look, hi, I'm so cute. Almost perfect condition, size one and a half. I am praying again to, I always say this in all my videos, oh, to the shoe gods, please. I hope this fits my little um, niece because I can't, I can't with it. Like such cute stuff. All right, at that same sale, I got another pair of, uh, of cute little cats. Uh, excuse me, a cute little Vans. These have Velcro. Moms love Velcro and kids love Velcro because then you don't have to tie your shoes, right? So these were super sweet and such a good find. And I think these were $3 and the other pair of Vans were $3 too. So I really scored with those. Now, I have one more set of sandals that I hit the jackpot with. And I wanted to tell you guys a little about, bit about a brand that I absolutely love. And if you are outsourcing and you happen to find this brand, 
grab it. This is Keen. Now, Keen is an absolutely fabulous brand. They do outdoor shoes. They do really fantastic water shoes. One of the things I love about these is they last forever. And actually, as far as resale value, they do really well, really, really well. These, um, I love the toe too, because you know how kids always stub their toes? So good. So I wanted to let you guys know that Keen is actually having a sale on their website. If you join up and you give them their email, you can get a $10 discount off of a brand new pair. So if you're so inclined, go check it out. But most importantly, this company is incredibly eco-friendly. They make this plastic without um, toxic chemicals. They give back by um, helping. They are... I mean, it's just it's just such a cool company on many different levels. And of course, I love sourcing and I love getting things secondhand, but I also love taking care of the environment, watching what I put on my body. I'm a breast cancer survivor, so I'm into trying to do the best I can with, you know, taking good care of myself in. Um, and I care also about reusing things. And so not only are we, use, we reusing and repurposing these cute little keeny beanies, um, they're also doing some great stuff for the earth. And guess what? Guess who got two pairs for $5 a piece? Me. Now I have sold Keen before. I've sold Keen for adults. And I think my adult ones went for about... I want to say $40, which I thought was pretty good. I really do. Like I said, I like shoes. You know, most people have feet. So shoes are, shoes are something to, good, to have on hand, I guess, right? All right. So we got through the kids' shoes. And it's just so funny. Like I said, I mean, if <laughs> I had no idea I was going to find all these shoes. And I, I, you know, I sell basically right now on Poshmark. And I have sold a couple of kids things. So this, this whole new thing for me with the shoes is going to be an adventure that I get to share with you guys. And if you guys have had success with kids shoes, please post something. Tell me about, you know, what, what's your favorite shoe to source? What are your favorite brands? I love Keen. I love um, Cole Haan. I really love. That's a great value. I usually get great, um, I, people purchase them at, you know, really great prices. I think like in the 40s, which I like, you know. Um, as far as clothing went, I have a few things I found today, including one thing for myself, which I, I really have been, I think I manifested it because I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, man, I'd really like a pair of corduroys. Corduroys are kind of in right now. I see a lot of the younger girls like belting them and wearing them like one or two sizes too big. It's so super cute. So I was hoping that was gonna happen and I hit the jackpot today. <laughs> You'll see the video. I'm like, oh, I found them, I found them, I found them. But what I did find was a beautiful pair and I had to dig. So when you go to these garage sales, Get ready to just take your time and dig at the bottom. Like literally, they. I think this lady had a grocery, just like a brown grocery bag, but it was packed with clothes and they were folded up super tight. And I'm digging through there like this, like trying not to make a mess because I actually do care. These sweet people are trying to sell their stuff all day. And um, I hit the, the bottom of the bag and I couldn't believe it. And I don't know, I just... I just wanted them. So they're AG and they're corduroys and they're fabulous and they're mine. Thank you, mommy. All right, so <laughs> I got a couple more really cute things too, you guys. And then one fabulous, absolutely just cool, worth the entire day of, you know, garage selling thing, which I'm going to save until the end. So one, I'm just going to go over a couple more things about garage selling. Number one, I know that I mentioned this in my other video, but I want to try to do as many garage selling videos as I can now with thrifting because pretty soon it's going to be snowy here and then you're going to see me up here a lot in this attic. <laughs> so I want to recap a couple of things about 
garage sailing. Number one, be prepared. Go to garagesale.com or Google how to find garage sales in your local area. Number one, the night before or wake up really early and make a list of the garage sales that you want to go to and make sure you're there early. Real professional sourcers, the people who are out there to really get the bargains, they're there almost a half an hour early and they will go up and start garage sailing until the owner say, hey, 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 we need 30 more minutes but they will man and it's cool get in there you know sometimes you gotta like fight your way in there right that's what I do I don't I'm not competitive with mm, that's not true I am comp I'm that's not true I'm not competitive with other people I just want to do the best I can does that make me competitive with other people I'm not sure anyway Okay, so do you guys want to see what I found today that I was just so excited about? I just think it's so cool. I wish it fit me. It's another story. Anyway, check out this, you guys. This is a vintage Sassoon denim skirt and it's so beautiful and I couldn't believe it because it was hanging on a hanger and I was like oh so check it out it's a vintage Sassoon long I know you can't see it very well but long skirt so so cute cute little pleats at the front but look at the back look at the tag I know it's probably backwards, right, for you guys? But, oh, my gosh, it's so cool. It's got the vintage tag on it. Oh, my goodness. I wish it fit me. It's a little, I'm a little, I don't know. <laughs> there is more that I got sourcing today, but I'm trying to say. I'll just show you one more cutie patootie thing that I got for, like, $2. And, again, like I said, the most wonderful thing about garage selling is the excitement of not knowing what you're getting. GarageSale.com, looked it up, got there early, and I had no expectations. All right, last but not least, <laughs> look at this cute little baby gap. Little, it has a little, look at this, this cute little thing on it. And it's down and inside of it, it's so lined and cute. And you know, winter's coming. And like I said, I saw this. <laughs> it's like, a little red apple. He's so cute. So anyway, I brought this home with me too. So I would say that the grand total of what I bought today was around $60. And uh, I mentioned it in my video before. I really think it's important that when you do garage sale that you make a connection with the seller. Say something nice. Oh my gosh, what a great day for, you know, garage sailing. You must be so happy. Everything is going well. And they usually say, oh yeah, and they're happy to be there. They're excited to see who's going to come and buy their stuff. And if you engage with them a little bit, I always say something, you know, compliment on them on a piece. Oh, I see lots of baby stuff. Yay. You have babies around. And they usually say, oh, I have a grandchild or, oh, my daughter, blah, blah, blah. Or, this is my friend's baby. And it's just nice because when you open up that conversation and you talk to them, when you go and you pick out things that you like, you have that connection with them, right? You've had a smile, you've had a talk. And if you say, hey, you know, what's, what's the best that you can do for me? on these ski boots and on these, you know, coal haunt shoes and whatever. And I guarantee you, if you take the time to give them a smile and to say something nice to them, they're going to give you a good deal. That's just human nature. It's just called connecting. So anyway, I had to show you guys what I sourced today before I totally forgot everything. And now I just need to go have a drink and figure out how long it's going to take me to post all this. But I guess that's how we make money, right? <laughs> if you like what you see and you want to see more sourcing, a little bit about my life and basically just different ways to save money throughout your life, not just with thrifting, please subscribe to my page. I would love to spend time with you and I'm super psyched to get tons of great content out for you. And if there's anything you have any questions about, about garage sailing, about anything, please ask me. I'm excited. Let's start the conversation.
All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. And I can't wait to uh, get back to editing to get the rest of this stuff together for you. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks again. And of course, peace out.